So I wanted to add LED strip lights to the bottom of these kitchen units uh, for quite a while now. And uh, I was thinking, how do I turn them on and off? I could fit a switch just dedicated to them. But then I realized uh, the extractor hood has got a built-in LED lamp. So if I just pick up the live supply from that, I can use that as the feed for the LED strip lights. But uh, I quite like the soft lighting the LED strip lightings uh, create. So I wanted to turn them on, on a wall switch as well to work with um, separate lights. So on the wall here I've got some um, up lighting um, lights and there's a switch on the wall dedicated for them. Um, so I wanted them to control the same LED lights so that um, if you just turn these room lights on here, then you get some nice soft lighting off the kitchen cupboards as well. But what I didn't want is um, when I put the extractor hood on, the lights on the wall come on. So I wanted the two lighting circuits to stay separate, but still control individually, uh, control each other. But if you switch the one on the wall on, um, it brings these on here. But what I didn't want is uh, when the extractor hood light comes on, it brings the lights on the wall on. I wanted them to work individually. So if I turn the, the switch off at the wall, um, they're off now. But these can be on without um, this turning the lights on at the wall. So how do you do that? How do you link two lighting circuits together so they both control from uh, the same switches, but you keep them separate at the same time. Surely if you link them together, they just all come on together. So I thought about this and um, there was various ways you could possibly do that. Um, maybe a couple of relays so that you can keep them separate and the switches trigger the relays. That way the two lighting circuits aren't bridged together. But that's way too complicated. But here's my little trick that I'm going to show you. I'm going to be using bridge rectifiers to keep the two se circuits separate. So if we take the live and neutral feed from the kitchen um, room lights and we feed that into the first bridge rectifier and we take the live and neutral feed coming off of the um, extractor hood uh, light and uh, we feed that into the second bridge rectifier we can then connect the outputs of the bridge rectifiers together and that will keep those two lighting circuits separate. The outputs of the two bridge rectifiers that are joined together can then be fed into the LED power supply. Now I'm sure some of you would have noticed that uh, we no longer have AC connected to the um, LED power supply because of course a um, bridge rectifier converts AC to DC. But in reality, this makes absolutely no difference uh, for the LED power supply since it's a switch mode power supply, the first thing it does is it takes the incoming AC voltage and converts it into DC through a bridge rectifier internally anyway. So the pulse DC voltage that the bridge rectifier generates uh, will just pass straight through the internal bridge rectifier of the power supply and uh, we're just skipping one of the steps that the power supply was going to do itself. Now my first thought was to use these traditional square uh, bridge rectifiers. They kind of resemble a traditional uh, bridge rectifier layout. And you can use them with these uh, crimp terminals that just push on. Um, but I didn't have any of them and I prefer soldering things. And I've got uh, some different uh, really flat compact bridge rectifiers. These ones were salvaged out of an old TV or some power supply or something. So I've just done a quick diagram to show you how I connected these flat bridge rectifiers to the extractor hood light and the kitchen light. But if you don't feel comfortable soldering, you can always use the traditional square uh, bridge rectifiers that have the push fit crimp terminals. Uh, that'll work just fine. It's just that uh, these flat rectifiers will give me good space saving so I can fit it all into an enclosure quite easily. So. Um, I found a nice place to put the um, LED driver, the 12 volt power supply and um, there's a panel here that comes out that hides the extractor hose going up. So we've got a bit of space behind there 
and we'll put a enclosure in there with the um, the 12 volt LED power supply a driver for these strip lights and in that we'll have our uh, special combining circuit which is the two bridge rectifiers which bridge the two lighting circuit so it'll be the the lights from the extractor the switch from that and the wall switch here they will be combined um, in our special combining circuit that goes behind here in its own enclosure I decided to add fuses for the two individual lighting circuits coming in before they go to the bridge rectifiers just for good measure probably not necessary but it's a good idea and also you can um, pull the fuses out to create a local isolation so it's all a little cramped in there and I could have probably done it a whole lot neater but uh, it works and it's in a safe enclosure so nobody's gonna get their fingers in there anyway so if I turn these lights off by turning the extractor hood off now if I turn these lights here on from the light switch on the wall they are on now and magically these are on as well so if I turn them off these are off but I can turn the extractor hood on but it doesn't bring the lights on on the wall they're completely separate